This is Catholic Daily Reflections for the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord. Today's reflection is entitled, Fulfilling Our Mission. Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. We celebrate today the glorious event of Jesus being presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Simeon, a righteous and devout man, had been waiting for this moment throughout his life. The passage above is what he spoke when the moment finally arrived. This is a profound statement that came from a humble and faith-filled heart. Simeon was saying something like this, Lord of heaven and earth, my life is now complete. I've seen him. I've held him. He is the one. He is the Messiah. There is nothing more I need in life. My life is fulfilled. I am now ready to die. My life has reached its purpose and culmination. Simeon, like any other ordinary human being, would have had many experiences in life. He would have had many ambitions and goals, many things he worked hard for. So for him to say that he was now ready to go in peace simply means that the purpose of his life was fulfilled and that All he has worked for and striven for has come to culmination in this moment. That's saying a lot. But it's really a great witness for us in our daily lives and gives us an example of what we should strive for. We see in this experience of Simeon that life must be about encountering Christ and fulfilling our purpose in accord with God's plan. For Simeon, That purpose, revealed to him through the gift of his faith, was to receive the Christ child in the temple at his presentation, and to then consecrate this child to the Father in accordance with the law. What is your mission and purpose in life? It will not be the same as Simeon, but it will have similarities. God has a perfect plan for you that He will reveal to you in faith. This calling and purpose will ultimately be about you receiving Christ in the temple of your heart and then praising and worshiping Him for all to see. It will take on a unique form in accord with the will of God for your life. But it will be as significant and important as Simeon's calling and will be integral to the entire divine plan of salvation for the world. Reflect today upon your own calling and mission in life. Don't miss your call. Don't miss your mission. Continue to listen, anticipate, and act in faith as that plan unfolds, so that you too may one day rejoice and go in peace, confident, that his calling has been fulfilled. Let us pray. Lord, I am your servant. I seek your will. Help me to respond to you in faith and openness and help me to say yes to you so that my life will achieve the purpose for which I was made. I thank you for the witness of Simeon and pray that I too will one day rejoice that my life has been fulfilled. Jesus, I trust in you.